Hello! Today we're going to review the components of the, inside the prime print washing container and how to set it up for use. First, let's go over the parts of the washing container itself. On the outside here, we see the white RFID chip, that's radio frequency identification chip. The prime print P PPU will read this chip to identify which washing container is inserted, track its history, and of course match its resin type to what you're intending to wash. This big knob on top will let you lock and unlock the lid. You can see the unlock symbol or the lock symbol. You'd want to lock it anytime you're moving the washing container around or if you're going to store it for some period of time. When it's locked, it's, the lid is sealed even more than usual, which limits the evaporation of the alcohol. You want to take care never to insert it into the PPU while it's in the locked position. If you do, uh, after a moment, the PPU will attempt to lift the lid and then it will give you an error that it's unable to. So again, unlock position when putting it into the PPU. See what's going on inside. So I can either flop the lid back like that and keep it uh, attached, or I can detach it just like this to make it easier to work. What's going on inside? First, we have our metal cage. This is designed to, you know, to catch anything that would detach from the prime print build plate, a very unlikely event, but if it does, we want to make sure it does not contact this agitator here, which will be spinning as it moves the alcohol around. Also inside, we've got our red bobber. This is how the PPU detects the amount of alcohol left inside the washing container. It will rise and lower according to the level of alcohol that's inside. Let's put it back together to make sure that the metal tab is inserted correctly into this slot here. To get started, we're going to add about two and a half liters of isopropyl alcohol. Remember, we are not filling it to the top. We're filling it only to the maximum line. Just below it is good. I replace the lid. I want to take care that the hinges are properly engaged. Lid is on top and we put it into our PPU. Slide it inside, either spot, doesn't matter. Right away, we can see that the RFID chip has been read. It's detected a new washing container. We could name it if we like, or just click OK to confirm. We have to tell which of the model or other resins we would be using for this uh, container. Right now, because it's labeled for Model T, I will pick Model T and confirm with the OK button. Once I put in the second washing container, the prime print PPU will be ready to post-process. Mm -hmm.